Today's Hits Without the Rap is 99.9 The Point. I'm Molly Kendrick, and I'm talking with Teresa Caputo, the Long Island medium, who has a show coming up at the First Bank Center this Tuesday, April 5th at 7.30. Teresa Caputo, live the experience. In advance, Teresa, welcome back to Colorado. Thank you. I can't wait to come back. You are so welcome. We can't wait to have you back. And you just wrapped up your sixth season of Long Island Medium on TLC, and you got to perform readings on a few celebrities. Do you ever get starstruck during your readings with them? Well, you know what? When I first meet them, I do because it's like, oh my God. Like, look, I grew up watching Susan Lucci. So for me to see her, I was like, I was really fangirling at that point. I was like, I don't know if my knees were going to buckle. You know what, though? But when I read, honestly, they're just like everyone else. And when I'm reading, it's they're just a client, mm-hmm. you know, that unfortunately lost someone that they have to live the rest of their life without. To me, I, I really, really love being able to be that vessel to allow spirit to use my physical body to deliver beautiful healing messages. Right. It, it is exciting, but come on, like even like Jim Parsons, I'm like, yeah. really, Jim Parsons knows who I am? <laughs> I, I was staring at him like, is this for real? Like, really, you want small guy in medium? <laughs> So uh, during your readings, you often refer to spirit. Who or what is spirit and how does spirit deliver messages to you? So I refer to um, the souls of the departed as spirit. Spirit um, is just energy. So when we, um, it, it's almost like the best way, I, I, I use this in my in my book, uh, There's more, more Than Life to This, um, that our physical bodies, when the soul leaves, it's almost like water. So mm-hmm. when water freezes, it turns into ice, which could be like our physical body. And when we die, or like dry ice, when it vapors into the air, that's like what our soul is. It then becomes energy. Mm-hmm. And there's energy around us all the time. We can't see it, but we feel it. Mm-hmm. And that's the same thing with the souls of our loved ones. And they just make me, um, I feel a lot of things. So they will just make me feel emotions that I know how to interpret messages to someone here in the physical world. Wow. And honestly, I always say it's the most, I don't know how it works. It just happens. And I always say, I wish I could think of something really cool to say, but it, yeah. it's not. It just, it just happens. It just happens. And, and it, it'll mean nothing to me, but it'll be life changing to the person that I am standing in front of. Mm-hmm. And that's the incredible thing about the experience. You know, people always ask me too to like, do you consider this a burden or a curse? Mm. And the crazy thing is, I feel so complete talking to dead people. Like, I know this is my soul's journey. And I consider it an honor and a privilege. Because to be able to give someone the peace in knowing that their loved ones are with them, Mm -hmm. so they can live life. You know how many people will come to the live show not being able to smile or haven't laughed in years because of a tragedy or because they lost their spouse or their child? Mm -hmm. And... They come and witness and maybe hear from their loved ones directly. It gives them a sense of peace and being able to smile again and knowing that with every breath that they take, that their loved ones are with them just in a different way. That's such a gift. Now, you've been seeing, feeling, and sensing spirits since you were four years old. Did you ever imagine growing up that your gift would bring you to where you are today? Absolutely not. Listen, I thought, uh, in all honesty, I grew up this way. So for me, this is how I've been through my whole life. I don't know wow. any different. Um, and when uh, my manager, uh, Courtney Mullen, first came to me and she was like, you know, you have this amazing gift and everyone should benefit from it. You know, you want to do a television show? I was like, yeah. So I thought I was going to like film a couple episodes, you know, and then go back to my life. I was mm-hmm. making appointments, people coming to my house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here I am. I, I'm traveling the country in a tour bus. Wow. You know, I'm, we're, we're shooting season seven of Long Island Medium. I'm, I'm filming Long Island Medium right now. Oh, wow. You know, um, yeah. So I'm filming up until like a day before I leave to, co- to go on tour. And um, so it's just, I never thought. And, you know, I just count all my blessings. I, I have an amazing and beautiful gift from God, and I'm able to help so many people. And it's just such an amazing feeling to know that because I am that vessel for spirit, to be that voice from heaven Mm -hmm. gives people an opportunity to live life again is incredible. That is so special, Teresa. It is. That is awesome. So what can audience members expect from your live show versus your TV show? Well, I always say, well, I'm going to show up with my hair and my nails done. (laughs) Of course. (laughs) (laughs) Great dress and fabulous shoes. (laughs) 
that will be a given. And honestly, what people say, people describe the experience as watching Long Island Medium live. And it's crazy because, look, people will say, oh, with the show, oh, it's editing, it's this. But you're watching it live. Yeah. And yeah. You, everyone knows you bought your own tickets. You know how you got there. You know nobody asked you any questions when you walked in. Nobody asked you to fill out any forms. Right. You know? <laughs> and it's like, I, I always say people walk into the arena thinking, pick me. And then when it happens, they stare at me. Like, I'll just walk up to someone <laughs> and be like, did you lose your brother and did he die in a car accident? And they stare at me like a deer in head like, like oh they my don't God. know what to say. And they're like, oh, oh, oh. And it's like, hello? <laughs> like, see? Did you know that you were coming to see me and that I talk to dead people? Or did you think you were coming to see Aerosmith in concert? Like, <laughs> what's the deal? <laughs> that is and amazing. It's amazing because the way that it works, and people say that, they're like, listen, you know how many people say, I had no idea who you were. My wife dragged me or my girlfriend made me come. <laughs> and it's such a life-changing experience. That's the thing. Look, you come to the experience, I can guarantee you, you are going to laugh, you're going to cry, and more importantly, you are going to leave there feeling different, feeling more positive about life, and more importantly, maybe a, a restore in your faith. There truly is more to life than just here in the physical world. Teresa Caputo, the Long Island medium, on today's hits without the rap 99.9 The Point. She's got a show coming up at the First Bank Center on Tuesday, April 5th. That's coming up. Starts at 7.30, and you can get tickets at altitude. Tickets.com.